Good day everyone! I am Ika Alame Rivera, a BSRT PQA student at Cebu Doctors University. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating or showing to you how I administer or set up the bubble humidifier with oxygen therapy via the nasal cannula. The bubble humidifiers have two types, which are the disposable one and the non-disposable one. Within this video is the non-disposable one. So with the use of the non-disposable one, you are supposed to put in distilled water. Take note of the lines indicated. So water content should not be too much nor too low. And then attach it to the flow meter and attach the tubing. And then you are supposed to adjust the flow of the oxygen towards the patient. With the help of bubble humidifier, it's gonna help the patient not experience any dryness in the nasal area and it's also going to improve respiratory outcomes. Bubble humidifiers are often used with low-flow oxygen devices like the nasal cannula. If the flow rate of the oxygen towards the patient is more than 4 liters per minute, then a humidifier is advised to be used. Air printed images of a no smoking sign, a flow meter attached to the wall that can deliver oxygen for the patient, and then the bubble humidifier, of course, and then the nasal cannula. Behind me is Pink Panther, and Pink Panther has COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease due to his excessive smoking. With this, um, Pink Panther has been experiencing exacerbations due to his COPD. His APG has been taken, and it states that he has hypoxemia due to his COPD. With this, oxygen therapy has been asked to be administered by the physician. So my name is Mikaela Rivera and I'm going to be your RD for today. So today I am to administer oxygen therapy based from the physician's order. So with the help of oxygen therapy, sir, it's going to be able to help you breathe more efficiently and relieve your shortness of breath due to your COPD exacerbations. And based from your ABG results that we're taking a few hours ago, uh, it indicates that you have low oxygen content in your blood. So with the help of oxygen therapy, it's going to be able to help you breathe more effectively and efficiently. So is it okay if I administer oxygen therapy today, sir? Okay, thank you, sir. So with this, sir, is it okay if I also check for your oxygen saturation by the use of the oxygen pulse oximeter? And then after that, I'm going to be checking or auscultating for any breathing abnormalities along your chest area. Is it okay? So I'm going to be checking for your oxygen saturation by the use of the pulse oximeter, sir. So may I please have your right hand, sir? I'm going to be checking or also taping for any breathing abnormalities, sir. Is it okay if I examine your chest area? Okay. Can you sit upright and closer? Now that I've checked for your oxygen saturation and auscultated for any breathing abnormalities, sir, I am now going to be administering oxygen therapy. So I'm just going to get the necessary equipment. This is a nasal cannula, sir, and it's going to be attached to you, and the tube is going to be attached to the flow meter that's going to administer the oxygen. So, the nasal cannula has two prongs, and it's going to be inserted through your nostrils, and the two tubes will be over your ears. Now that it's attached to the flow meter and the humidifier, is it okay if I attach it or apply it onto you, sir? The nasal cannula? Is the nasal cannula too loose or too tight, sir? Is it okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna be monitoring you, sir, from time to time and also the flow of your oxygen. So, thank you, sir.
Thank you, sir. Good morning again, sir. I am Mikael Rivera, your RT for today. How are you today, sir? Is, is the nasal cannula okay? Is it too tight or irritating? So it's okay. Um, are you experiencing any dry dryness or anything in your nasal area? Okay, not. So um, I'm going to be auscultating again for any abnormalities in breathing, for your oxygen saturation again via the post oximeter. Thank you.